celebrating the feast day of St. Peter Chrysologus. The feast day of St. Peter Chrysologus is celebrated on July 30th. St. Peter Chrysologus, the Bishop of Ravenna in the 5th century, is renowned for his homilies and orthodox discourses. His eloquent preaching earned him the nickname Golden Worded Chrysologus, and he was later declared a doctor of the church in 1729. A man who vigorously pursues a goal may produce results far beyond his expectations and intentions. This was true for Peter of the Golden Words, who, as a young man, became the Bishop of Ravenna, the capital of the Western Empire. At that time, his diocese was plagued by abuses and remnants of paganism, which Peter was determined to battle and overcome. His principal weapon was the short sermon, many of which have survived to this day. While they may not contain great originality of thought, they are full of moral applications, sound doctrine, and historical significance, revealing Christian life in 5th century Ravenna. So authentic were his sermons that, some 13 centuries later, he was declared a doctor of the church by Pope Benedict XIII. He who had earnestly sought to teach and motivate his own flock was recognized as a teacher of the universal church. In addition to his zeal in the exercise of his office, Peter Chrysologus was distinguished by a fierce loyalty to the church, not only in its teaching, but in its authority as well. He viewed learning not merely as an opportunity, but as an obligation for all, both as a development of God-given faculties and as a solid support for the worship of God. As it is written in 2 Timothy 2.15, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Sometime before his death around AD 450, Peter returned to his birthplace of Imola in northern Italy. His liturgical feast is celebrated on July 30th. His life and actions remind us of James 122. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Let us be inspired by his example to actively live out our faith and strive for greatness in our Christian journey.